Okay, so continuing on with our little um, victory lap, we now get to go to Black Rose Street and see how things are going with Nash and Mia already. And we just faced through that guy. Holy crap! <laughs> Mother! Love Mia, we're back. Yeah, obviously. Good job, Mia. Nash, thank you for protecting Mia. I must thank you, not only as the head of the Magic Guild, but also as the mother of Mia. Oh gosh, I... <laughs> mother, I... I... Not that face. Are you going back to being a crybaby? <laughs> so cute. I'm glad. So glad, Mia. Whoa, snip. <laughs> She's crying. No, mother, I won't cry. There are just too many things I have to do. Yes, as a new head of the Magic Guild. Wait, what? What? Mother, does that mean? Yes, Mia, the Magic Guild needs some new blood. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Nash, please take good care of Mia. Uh, of course! If I'm good enough, I shall save Mia through fire or water. Well, well. Nash. Mia, Vane did fall, but if we all work hard, I know that we can build a wonderful new town. It'll be a double... I, uh, it'll be an island on top of an island! You know, I have water slides and all that. Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mia just like cock block there. <laughs> I wanted to thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mia. I'll make a wonderful magic deal for everyone. Let's do it, Nash. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Poor Nash. Oh, just as usual. Poor Nash. <laughs> oh, I love it. The event called time. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. The four heroes, the five heroes. We're one hero better. Oh, the world is not only built like you've been around the world, built like everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sentimental talk. You'll get a bunch of this like sentimental talk, you know, and all that stuff. Nash doesn't to get too jealous. <laughs> Yay! Eyes of fire. And a uh, car shop. Yeah, we don't care about it. Ooh, that. Ooh, me. I'm so happy for all yeah. Okay. You know about that. Talking to a friend. Just because one of the beast man Mel and his human wife, interspecies love, can't work after all. Ah, oh, my beloved Royce. I don't care if you are one of the vile tribe. I'll wait forever. Yes, wait forever for your return. Let's not tell him that Royce is gone. <laughs> I never had roast white dragon. What? Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with this woman? Hey, wait, roast a white dragon, I'm a black dragon. Then I have to live in Pow. I wouldn't mind land, though. <laughs> Weird. I wonder how we're gonna replace this dragon suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah. I'm hoping one of these guys kind of does a cutscene or something like that. He's the magic game to real art, Dragon Master. But Alex is Dragon Master no more, and Althena, Luna is Althena no more. Sorry, wrong person. Wrong person, uh, Random houses. Okay, now that we're done with that, the next group we got to see is obviously, you can probably guess already, Jess and Kyle. And they've already gone back to uh, Mel's mansion. For, for obvious reasons. I mean, he did get unturned into stone now, so... Now we finally get to see Mel for the first time in half a project. <laughs> I do like Mel, he's one of my favorite characters. Hey, cut the crap! <laughs> She's still dragging him. <laughs> what are you doing? Mel's waiting for us. Oh my, did something happen to Admiral Mel? No, he's fit as a fiddle. Our problem is here. Huh? He said he doesn't want to see our cheerful reunion. <laughs> he's such a cold fish. No, it's not that. I just... Just what? It's a family thing, right? You don't want a guy like me around. To your father, I'm a natural rival. Kyle... Don't be a dummy. Get over here. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's still being dragged. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Father! Oh, and he goes from off in the corner. Oh, Jessica, my dear Jessica. I thank the goddess Althena that you survived all this. Father. Oh, Father. Cry, cry. <laughs> oh, no, that ain't that sweet. Jessica and Mel are both crying buckets. <laughs> yes, indeed. I heard from my steward what you did, Jessica. Save the world. You don't know how proud I am of you. It wasn't so much, Father. <laughs> Humble. You really did well, Jessica. Huh? Isn't that Kyle over there? Oh, busted. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> hey, don't run away! Come here! I love it. The one person I can scare Kyle. God, I hope you continue to take care of Jessica. Huh? 
That's cute. What? Uh, father, I, uh... Hold on, Kyle! Too soon to be calling me that! First, you two have to get all mushy in love. <laughs> oh, uh, oh... <laughs> hey, it'll take someone as rough and tough as you to tame this wild Billy. <laughs> eh? I'm a what? <laughs> no, no, don't you underestimate your dad, Jessica. <laughs> you got me! I'm no match for you, one of the four heroes. <laughs> I love Mel. <laughs> Greatest character ever. Alright, Jessica, way to go, Kyle. Go team! Yeah, yeah, you can talk with them now if you want. <laughs> Not a bad way to kill time. Alex Luna! Alex is quiet and wishy-washy, but n the next best man to me. Have a nice life together. <laughs> oh, Jessica. Thanks for everything, Alex. I'm so glad. So you're going back to Berg, huh, Luna? Come to, come to see me when you're in Moravia. Promise. Yeah, let's talk to Mel, because he's awesome. Alex, I must say you've ex exceeded my expectations. I bet, instead of the tales of the four heroes, we will rule count the Alex of uh, Adventures of Alex, the last Dragon Master. Hopefully it doesn't get picked up by M. Night Shyamalan, hee <laughs> hee I'm terrible. Okay, so, now you might not be sure what next to trigger, however, what you need to do in order to continue on is actually try to leave Meribia in the wrong direction. Alex, aren't we going home to Berg or keep adventuring? Aw, oh, okay, fine. Oh my god, it's Bastia. Alex? Fasia, you're okay! Yeah, how does she live? Holy crap! Alex, Luna, we at the Vile Tribe will be leave again. In the future that you, that the goddess Althena tried to see, even to the point of becoming human herself. We too are ones who live on this land. Fasia, what will you do now? I intend to go to a far land, visited by no one, and await the future to come. Goodbye. Alex, Luna. That future is sure to come. Awkward signs. We are here, right, Alex and Luna? Yes, it is sure to come. Let's build a new world ourselves. Yeah! And that's the last time we get to see the Vile Tribe. So yeah, Fossia somehow survived her battle against Zenobia and Royce. They didn't really explain how, but... Okay. Alex, Athena. Yeah, awkward. You know, Athena, it's gone. We can do it on our own. Right, Luna, now? Right. Sure. As long as there are fish involved. <laughs> That's probably what he'd say. Now, there's one last little thing that I can actually show off, and I believe it's in this place right here, oddly enough. Uh, what you need to do is go down to the bottom right as far as you can. Uh, not this guy. <laughs> Bring it for Athena. Of course, it is her. Sh now! <laughs> <laughs> she's so identical, she shocks herself. Well, but anyways, this guy right here. This is actually the last of the wandering traders for the cards. Now, at the, the, the second one in the game, that was like back in the Forbidden Woods, he had the High Nash card and then like two other random ones. Now, this guy has the um, High Nash, Magic Emperor Galleon, and Evil Althena cards. The downside to this that I won't be able to show off is that in order to get them, you have to have cards from the monsters that appear in the Forbidden Woods or Protector's Cave. So yeah, I kind of screwed myself out of that cool little secret. Now I gotta go through the entire damn game again in order to do that. Or, I don't know, uh, I, I'm not gonna bother with it to be honest, just screw it. And uh, let's see, someone's supposed to be around here. Oh, there he is! It's Lunko Lake! I mean, dying! Hey, it's Lake! Yep, going back to work. And, yeah, you have to say yes, Mertrash. Um, dying, I... Alex, the man with that name is no longer here. The age of gods and heroes is over. For now on, history has made my nameless brave men. Yes. I'm leaving again on a journey. This will be a long one. Lake. The world is large. Surprising unknown happenings await me. That is what I want to see. Lake, about Galleon. I think he has lived by turning his back on his own beliefs. That is the way one man lives his life, but... 
No, let's not. I must go. See you, Alex. Bye bye. Oh. Wait. Alex, may we all be travelers walking in time to the future. Chance and necessity to create meetings and farewells are born. <laughs> Interesting. You have just begun your adventure adventure into the future. I wish you good luck, Alex and Luna. Farewell. Bye-bye, Dime. We won't meet again. I'm sure we will. Yes, sometime. Come on, let's go too. And that, um, anticlimactically enough, is the end of the game, Lunar Legend. And uh, we get a little uh, cut, uh, credits with a bit of a slideshow of the various events that have it. I kind of like that scene right there. <clears throat> so I guess I got a little bit of time to talk about this project. Um, so yeah, if you remember, this project came about uh, as me trying to redeem myself after my um, botched uh, Metroid Prime thing. Honestly, I aren't. I don't. I really hate saying that project is dead, but honestly, I don't see myself working on it anytime soon. So just. But yeah, I, I did this game though because it is one of my favorite RPGs. And the thing about this is that out of all the versions of this one particular game, Moon Legend is supposed to be the worst of the, uh, or at least the worst of the modern set, which includes the PlayStation version, um, Silver Star Story or like, Complete or something like that, and then the Silver Star Harmony for the PlayStation Portable. And the, the PlayStation Portable one makes the game look just gorgeous, and it has actually more to it than that. But, um, Lunar Legend is not really a well-known game, though. I mean, considering it's one of the probably most popular RPGs out there, like, well, there's definitely a cult following to this. And it's definitely, definitely one of my favorite RPGs of all time. And I, I, that's why I did it. I, I just love this game so much. And like, when I looked for projects and all that stuff, like only two people had done it. And like their videos, most of their videos hadn't even hit 100. So I, I consider it kind of a crime, like a, a tragedy that this game hasn't been more out there in YouTube and all that stuff. And yay, yeah, Red Dragon. So that's why I did this because it's, as you can see, it's a nice game. It's pretty funny. And the serious what it needs to be. It does have some good art design uh, every now and then. Yeah, the limitations of the um, Game Boy probably hurt it more than anything, but still, it, it does really, this game really does do well, in my opinion. And there's the Victoria Award Nash nerd. So, beyond this, oh, oh, Mia's about to do a slap. <laughs> uh, beyond this, I do have a few projects in mind. I have two in mind, actually. One of them, if I am right, is going to be like a very, 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 very short project, even shorter than maybe air rides, so there's nothing about that. And then I have another project that I've already planned up. That one will take a while, but now that I'm done with Lunar Legend, I can probably get started on it too, or at least start planning for it. But I, I don't know. I'll have to see how things go. I may just take like a week or something, you know, to just be done with videos. Plus, Crystal Star Studios bearing down my butt again. I like that scene. And one last scene. Just in time, huh? <laughs> so yeah, Alex and Luna are back in Berg in front of the grave, and and that's the end. So yeah, nice little still shot of the blue planet during the daytime. And so yeah, this is one of those things where like it just stays on this until you press a button, and then you're kicked out right to the thing. Now just just to let you know, you probably shouldn't say during Marivia because then you can't go back and do well actually you're pretty much trapped. You know what I forget what I said. This is Gary Gush and I with Let's Play Lunar Legend. I hope you enjoyed this project. Stay tuned for future stuff. See you then guys.